Oh, what's up guys today I'm going to show you if you are locked out of your laptop or computer like you don't have the password or you forgot the password I'll tell you how you can get into your PC or laptop without losing any data to do that you need you will need a small software file which I will atta attach in the description as well and you need one piece of uh, USB flash drive so all you have to do is once you have that software onto the flash drive you will have to reboot the PC restart it and then you have to go into the boot menu now this is um, Lenovo ThinkPad and I know that it goes into the boot menu by pressing F12 so for your laptop, you'll have to find out, let's say if you have HP, then you might need F9. You can always Google and find out the key to press once it's booting up. And then you have to press that key and then it will go to the boot menu. Now it's, it's very easy to download the file. And if you need help with that, I will post a link in this video as well. How can you make that bootable USB? So just bear with me, once this restarts, you start pressing the key to interrupt the setup, it says entering boot menu. So once it's there, you have to select your USB, mine one is Kingston right here. So make sure it's showing at Kingston and then you press enter. Once you press enter, then you will see uh, set up on your screen some files loading like this the progressing bar and it's very easy and simple and uh, i promise you you won't lose your data if you want access to your laptop or computer so you just have to wait for a few seconds until it loads the setup and depending upon the speed of your computer and laptop, you know, the time varies. But as long as you can see this progress bar moving, so that means it's doing something. So in this video, I will only show you how you can get a read of the password and get full access to your files or documents or pictures or whatever data you have in the system. So basically you removing the password in other words like when you reboot it it won't ask for the password you just click and it will let you access the thing so now it will boot through the usb as you can see the setup is loading and here it is so once you see this screen, it says Hirens Boot CD PE Windows 11. And then you will see here the options, like what you have to do next. I'm still waiting for things to load. You just need a little patience, you know, because these kind of things, they always take time even though i'm trying my best to make the shortest video so you don't waste time but sometimes i have to show these things so if you run into these problems you know what to do and how you gonna fix them so once you reach here you click on start and then you go to all programs And from here, you go to security. I hope you can read it, but it's one, two, three, four, fifth option from the bottom. So you go to security. Security is here. And then from security, you go to passwords. And then from passwords, you go to Windows Login Unlocker. So that's the option. So you click there. Once you click there, 
it will show you let me zoom it in a little bit so you can probably see better so you will see all the logins uh, has been created on this pc so right now it's the password is on ats where, where the blue line is so you you click on it or press enter and then another window pops up and you can select reset password and then it will ask you reset the pass uh, user password ads and then you say yes okay and then user password reset is done so after that you press okay and you can also create new user from here if you want to but it's just you know small shortcut i wanted to show you now i'm going to reboot it and we'll from here you can close this window and remove the usb flash drive and reboot the system again and then we'll go to the same uh, user login ats and it says restart so you press restart usually when the screen goes black that's when i pull out the usb but you can safely eject it or you can just reboot it normally even though you leave the usb in it won't bother it will just start normally and let's see if it asks for the password again it's very simple to remove the password and if you're thinking to make the usb is harder it's actually it's not and if you watch my other video i'll show in that video how you can make this usb and i will leave the link to make the usb the, the file you need i will leave it in the description as well so just let it boot now and we go to the same user login and let's see what it does So, so far this is the most authentic way to get rid of the user login password doesn't matter you using windows 10 or 11 it works on both and it's the same method for desktop or laptop there's no difference so it's booting up as you can see on the screen so once it boots up it will show the same user on the screen and i'll show you what to do once you see your uh, your username okay so <clears throat> as you can see ats is showing and now it says welcome that means it's not it didn't even ask for the password so i hope this video helped and if you have any questions you can always comment me and i'll try my best to answer it thank you for watching i'll see you in next video